You have a race that is set before you. Keep looking unto Jesus and you will finish your race with joy. In our daily devotional today, I will be speaking on keep looking unto Jesus. I want to talk to you about why you must keep your eyes on Jesus. I will be taking my scriptural reading today from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 27. The word of the Lord says, It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. I'm here to let you know today that the only way to succeed in life is to keep your eyes upon Jesus and refuse to be distracted. I want you to know today that the enemy will want to use many things to distract you from your goal of glorifying God and doing His will. You see, to keep your eyes on Jesus, enemies can distract you, friends can distract you, obstacles can distract you, difficulties can distract you. The enemy can even use unfavorable words to distract you. Even sources and pleasures can distract you from keeping your eyes on Jesus. Today, you need to make up your mind that no matter what, I will keep my eyes on Jesus and I will reach my goal. Let me give you the background story of our text today. You see, Moses had a very difficult task to take the people of Israel from the land of Egypt to the promised land because he had a very formidable enemy, Pharaoh and his host. He faced very daunting obstacles, the Red Sea, the wilderness, River Jordan, and of course, stubborn Israelites. There is something I want you to know. Because he kept his eyes on the Lord, he had strength to do the will of God, and he succeeded, he prevailed. You see, what we are discussing today is the secret of King David in the Bible. When you read the book of Psalm 16, verse 8, the word of the Lord says, This is David speaking to us. He said, I have set the Lord always before me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. You need to learn how to keep your eyes on the Lord. Keep your eyes on Jesus. He will give you success. Keep your eyes on Jesus. You will succeed. With this scripture, David revealed the secret of his great strength. He kept his eyes on the Lord. He kept his eyes on the Lord. It is important to keep your eyes on the Lord. Now, let me take you to the account of Peter in the Bible. When Jesus told him to walk on the water, the Bible made us to know that Peter obeyed. He jumped out of the boat to walk on water according to the word of the Lord. The Bible made us to know that for as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was walking on the water without difficulty. Then when the wind began to blow and Peter took off his eyes off Jesus, the Bible made us to know he started sinking. He began to sink. You see, the moment you begin to rely on other things, and when you take away your eyes from the Lord, you will surely sink. My friend, I want you to be like David today. Set the Lord before your eyes, and let nothing move you from following the Lord. You have a race that is set before you. Listen to the admonition of the scripture today. Keep looking unto Jesus, and you will finish your race with joy you will finish your race on a good note. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, the word of the Lord says, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, 
woe for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the same, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I would like to pray with you right now. Let's talk to him in our prayer today. Almighty Father, I thank you today. Thank you for the people that have listened to your word. Thank you for touching their hearts. I want to pray for them right now that you will help them to keep their focus on you. You will help them to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you for hearing us today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you for being here today. I believe that you've been tremendously blessed. I would like to read your comments. Leave your comment below. God bless for doing that. If you are passing by for the first time, welcome. Welcome to this platform. I'd like you to share this message with your friends, with your family, and your loved ones. You can subscribe and you can follow me through this medium. Until I come your way next time, I'm Redek Benro. God bless. Bye for now.